Mga gabi mga kasuloy, this is Mark at Marie Aram and here's what you need to know on Wednesday, May 15, 2024. For today's top story, how far can 134,000 pesos go? For Alice Gould, this was enough to win the mayority of Bamban, a second-class municipality in Tarlac which she claims is her hometown. Based on her statement of contributions and expenses submitted to the Commission on Elections, Google had a total expenditure of 134,693 pesos and 80 centavos for her successful 2022 run to lead the town where she used to own a 7.9 hectare property that hosted a Philippine offshore gaming operator suspected of involvement in spying activities and hacking of government websites. The then 35-year-old businesswoman running as an independent bested six other candidates winning over her closest rival by 468 votes after getting the support of 16,503 voters. In other news, the Supreme Court has acquitted former Tourism Secretary Joseph Felix Marie Ace Durano and five others over the graft case involving a 2009 calendar campaign that went without public bidding. The second division of the High Court granted the appeal of Durano's camp to reverse the Sandigan Bayan ruling that convicted them for graft for the 2.7 million project. The SE made its decision on January 22, 2024. Copies of the resolution were released to members of the media on May 15, 2024. Aside from Durano, the others acquitted were Eduardo Jarque Jr., Oscar Palabiab, Grace Yoro, Evelyn Cahigal, and Adriana Flor. More local news, the Office of Senior Citizen Affairs here has recognized a shortfall in its budget allocation for the needs of the elderly and requested additional funds to supplement its annual budget this year. OSCA asked the Cebu City government for an additional 48 million pesos on top of their annual 1.8 billion budget for their yearly aid to the elderly. In OSCA's Sungkod ni Lolo Oglola Teleradio program over Subuanon Channel, Lawyer Homer Cabaral, the head of OSCA, stated that the additional funds are necessary because the 1.8 million allocated by the city can only accommodate 90,000 out of the registered 95,555 senior citizens. This leaves 5,555 elders without support. Finally, a dog that was trapped on a creek along FB Cabahog Street in Barangay Ibabaw, Estancia in Mandawi City was successfully rescued by personnel of the Bureau of Fire and Protection in Mandawi. The rescue team provided immediate care to the dog by giving it food, water, and shower. Fire Officer Turiel Denura, team leader, said the trapped dog was reported by a concerned citizen at 9.15 a.m. on Wednesday. Denura said that according to the residents there, the dog was trapped for three days and it was already howling. That's all for today, Casaloy. You can get the full story at cdn.ph or follow us on social media including Viber and Telegram at CDN Digital. This has been Morex at Maria Ram. Enjoy the rest of the evening and stay safe, mga Casaloy.